Well, hello guys. So I haven't done this in like about a year-ish. I haven't talked about vinyl in a hot minute. I thought I would show my updated vinyl collection. I want to say I have a lot more new ones and I got rid of a lot of ones that I don't like. So I thought, why not? Let's do this while we're stuck in quarantine. Well, I'm just gonna take out a section at a time and we'll do it, uh... <laughs> We'll do it that way so it's easier. First, I have Rocket by Alex G. This one's just black. And next I have Beach Music by Alex G. And this one is also black. And here we have Eldron Cadwallader's Self-Titled. Again, starting off weak, this is black. This album's bomb though. And here we have Hospice by The Antlers. This album, I haven't been able to listen to this since like 2016. This album is just way too sad for me now and I get very, very upset when I listen to this album. It's just black. And here we have The Holy Grail of Emo, um, American Football's self-titled. God bless, these are all just black. Well, this one's just black as well. Had this for a very long time. This is one of the first vinyl I got. And here is another American American football album, Prime. This one is not black, the first non-black one. It is, ooh, this is hefty. This is bright orange. I believe it's 180 gram. You know, I totally forgot I had like some of these, this is funny. Here I have Dancing is Depressing by Attic Abasement. This album I discovered a very long time ago on YouTube. I had a phase of this kind of music, but this is a red splatter with like pinky on it, I guess. And here we have Balancing Composure and Tiger's Jaws Split. This is very old. I've had this for a hot minute now. You guys have seen this multiple times, but it is a translucent orange. It's very pretty. And here is Separation by Balance and Composure. Rip to these guys. Makes me so sad. This one is a nice translucent red. Oh, I didn't realize I have so many vinyl. Holy moly. Okay. And here we have Basement's Promise Everything. Got this pretty much when the album came out. When they were on Run for Cover and not freaking Fueled. F you to Fueled. This is a pretty like cream orange vinyl. We're not even gonna talk about this, but I have brand new Deja and Tendu. It's black. I'm sorry, I still own this, I know. And here we have I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning by Bright Eyes. This is just black, so I'm not gonna show it. I love this album dearly. Bright Eyes just came out with new music and it's so good. This one's kind of hard to see on camera, so I'm gonna try my best to see if you guys can see it. This is Boney Bears for Emma Forever Ago. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try to... This one's also just black. This is from his 10 year anniversary tour. Iconic album. This man is just... Here I have Blood Bank by Bunny Bear as well. This one's also black. I'm sorry, we'll get into the more cool colored ones in a little bit. And here we have Bony Bear's 22 A Million. This album is freaking game changer. Like the art in this stuff is super fun. Love the style. Whoa. All right, next section here. God, these are hefty boys. This is If I Should Go Before You by City and Color. This is also black. This is 180 gram, two LP pressings. And this is The Hurry and the Harm by City and Color. This one is also black. Makes me sad. Here we go, baby. This is Bring Me Your Love by City and Color. This album is one of my most rare pressings I'd say I have. This was a repress, say maybe like four years now. And it's a really cool maroon pressing. Someone on Reddit noticed that on the sticker on this side, the song that plays first is not the song that's on the sticker. So apparently misprints like that are worth a lot. And I looked it up on Discogs and stuff and this album can go from like 90 to $100. I don't think I could ever get rid of this album. I have been dying to find Bring Me Your Love on pressing and I finally got it and it's like a cool misprint. So here we have Little Hell, also by City and Color, also black and also double LP, 180 gram, hefty boy. Wow. We look like we're just repeating ourselves. This is Sometimes by City and Color. Also, double LP, 180 gram. I got this tattooed on my leg and this album is just beautiful. Love the entirety of it. it means a lot to me, just pew. All right, enough City and Color. We have Chapel's Sunday Brunch. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Chapel anymore, but this pressing is just kind of ridiculous. It's a little egg. It's super cute. Pretty sure this is the only picture-ish disc I own. So I'm gonna keep it, even though I'm not a huge fan of Chapel that much anymore. All right, so here's Charmer's self-titled. 
this one is colored. We're getting into the colors now. It looks like a very, very slight pink, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a cream white, but it looks pink. And here I have Casey's Where I Go When I'm Sleeping. This album, honestly, one of my top favorite albums of all time. This album's a nice teal blue, very pretty. Saw them at their one show in Chicago. That was pretty sweet. And here we have Captain Jazz. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this because I can't. I'm physically incapable. This is also a double LP. This album's iconic. And here is Twin Fantasy by Car Seat Headrest. This is 180 gram double LP and just black, sadly. A lot of people don't like it and it makes me very sad because Car Seat Headrest is... Teams of Denial is probably better. I don't own that on vinyl, but that's that's fine. I'm not a huge fan of Cave Town anymore. This was like a young Kelsey phase that I had for like two seconds, but I got it for free from that VNYL company. So whatever, gonna keep it. The other side's more yellow. This side's more green. It's cute. You never realize how much vinyl you have until you do these videos. Ugh. Oh no, why is this in this section? Okay, just kidding. I have one more city in color. This is Guide Me Back Home. You know what, this is actually the one uh, color pressing. Uh, it's a trifold. Bing, bing. There's three vinyl in here. The orange one, still really cool. The orange is super cool. And here we have another iconic album. This is Youth by Citizen. This is a forest green, very nice little pressing. 2015 Kelsey would die for this. Here is As You Please by Citizen. This album is my favorite Citizen album. A lot of people didn't like it. It makes me very sad. But this pressing's super neat. It's like a splatter purple, blue, cream colored little boy. Honestly, one of my top 10 albums as well. And here we have American Radass by Dads. This album, I got it for like eight bucks. I was super shocked. <laughs> Always looked in the used section in your vinyl stores because there's stuff like this in there for super cheap. It's like a purple splatter with some black and white in it. Super cool. Here is In Case You Missed It by Daisy Head. I haven't listened to Daisy Head in a hot minute. This album is just a nice baby pink with some white splatter in it. Ooh, and here's Acceptance Speech by Dance Gavin Dance. I got this for $2 off of a raffle page on Facebook. Those raffle pages, you can win some cool stuff. And it was the only one I've ever entered and I got it for $2, so ding. It's a nice maroon, pinky type color. This is Artificial Selection by Dance Gavin Dance. I believe this is an Urban Outfitters pressing or like the alternative cover pressing. It's not as cool as it was in the picture and I'm very upset. Or maybe mine just didn't get pressed as cool as everyone else's, but it's like a very clear light purpley with a few splatters in it. Here is Stop Breathing by Donovan Wolfington. I got this one for extremely cheap, again in the U section, $8.99. What a bargain. It's a splatter pink pressing. And here is Dowsing's OK. Dowsing never blew up and it makes me a little bit upset because they deserve more credit than what they have. It's a super cool pressing. It's half black, half white. I really wish I had It's Still Pretty Terrible on vinyl. That album, so good. Here's for Prosterity by Dry Jacket. This album looks exactly like my Citizen one I have. <laughs> the exact same dealio pretty much. Just a cream with blue and red splatter. Holo Pleasures in California Dreaming by by Elvis Presley. Ooh. They don't exist anymore for now, sadly. Coke bottle with some black little splatters in it. Great album. So here is Verses by Amorosa. I used to be into Amorosa again in like 2015 when I was in high school. This album so good. I got it for super cheap from Merch Now. And if you know, don't order anything from Merch Now because they're trash. It literally came like this. The whole thing just like wasn't even glued on. The packaging came terribly. I know that's the post office's fault, but like, what is this? I know I can glue it, but... And this is 180 gram and a white pressing, super neat. This is What It Takes to Move Forward by Empire Empire. If you know, you know, Empire Empire is iconic. But this album's great. It's a double LP and they're really cool pressings as well. I'll just show you the one. It's a half light blue, half yellow with green splatter, super neat. This is Dealer by Foxing. I haven't listened to Foxing in a hot minute, but this album is really good. Maroon with some blue and looks like red splatter on it. And here's Near My God by Foxing. It's a really cool red pressing. And here's What's Past is Prologue by Free Throw. Just recently got this in the fall time. This 
pressing is so cool. It's a splatter black on a clear pressing. Super neat. Next up, we have all my precious little babies, self-titled by the front bottoms. It is 180 gram on a clear pressing. And here is Rose by the front bottoms. This one is super cool. This is gonna be kind of hard to show. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's a rose on here. It's very neat, cool idea. Some of my favorite songs are on this EP. Jim Boger is honestly one of my favorite songs by the Front Bottoms. And here's Talon of the Hawk by the Front Bottoms. This one is just black, so I'm not gonna show it. Okay, and here we have Back on Top by the Front Bottoms. This is like where the Front Bottoms started to kind of lose me, I guess. I still really love this album. Uh, this is gold-ish. Oh, I really don't know why I have this, but this is Anne by the Front Bottoms. This one is just black. So these songs were remastered and they suck. They're not good. I don't like them at all and it makes me so sad. All right, here we have Absent Sound by From Indian Lakes. This is one of my other most expensive pressings, but I got it for free. I believe it has a big blob of green in the middle. It's very cool. This is We Are Alive Beyond Repair by The Gatherers. This band was supposed to blow up, but they never did. Makes me very sad. This album is very cool. It's black with some black splatter. I want to say they're comparable to Being as an Ocean or Deaf Haven-ish. It has that post-hardcore sound. So here we have the Garden States soundtrack. This is double LP and just black as well. Here is The Earth Pushback by Have Mercy. Rip Have Mercy is on the way out as well. I want to say this is one of the albums that I touched a very long time ago. And you can see where I touched it. So this probably doesn't spin anymore, but uh, it's Coke Bottle. And here, uh, we have Hobo Johnson's self-titled. This one's just black. I'm gonna admit, I had a Hobo Johnson phase. When he first came out, it was it was good. And now when I listen to it, I'm like, eh, it's, it's okay. One of my favorite bands of all time, Hot Mulligan's Opportunities. This is a cloudy, translucent white. Love this album. And what they call the color of this vinyl is Dairy Clear. And if you know, you know. If you don't, that's okay. And here's Pilot by Hot Mulligan, also one of my all-time favorite albums. One of the coolest pressings I own It is half mustard, half red with black splatter. Super neat. And here is my most recent album that I've gotten, and it's You'll Be Fine by Hot Mulligan. It's the texture of the front of this album. If you have this, if you know what I'm talking about, it feels super cool. I got the UK pressing out of 200, and it is red. This album is so good. Hot Mulligan can do no wrong. Here's Our Endless Number of Days by Iron and Wine. This is just black. I have so many vinyl that were from like my pop punk stage in life and I'm just not there anymore. This is While I Stay Secluded by Knuckle Puck. Not really into Knuckle Puck that much anymore, sadly. But this is a really neat pressing. It is. However you'd like to interpret this. I don't know what you want to call this, but it's cool. And here's Shapeshifter by Knuckle Puck. But this is a lavender pressing. And here is one of my most prized vinyl this is Laugh Tracks by Knocked Loose. I won it on a giveaway and this is a super rare pressing. Very, very freaking pretty. It's like a baby blue with black splatter. Don't think I'll ever get rid of this album. Knocked Loose is bomb. All right, and the next couple I have, they're all from Mac to Marco, so I'm just gonna go through them because they're all black. So, Salad Days, Mac to Marco, Mac to Marco 2. This Old Dog by Mac DeMarco. I'm pretty sure this one's black. Yeah, this one's black. And Rock and Roll Nightclub by Mac DeMarco. This is probably my favorite by him, I wanna say. It's his earlier stuff. And here is my only Me Without You album. This is their Untitled. I literally cannot find anything else by Me Without You in a vinyl store or online. They did some good marketing with this pressing. I don't know if it was by mistake or if they did it on purpose, but their length of their vinyl casing, whatever this is called, sleeve, whatever, it is, I'm pretty sure, like 13 inches instead of the 12 that all other vinyl are, and it sticks out in your vinyl collection. Good marketing, Me Without You. Good job. It's a deep blue pressing. This album's still really good, but I wish I had many other albums by them. Here is Much Love by Microwave. It is half blue, half clear with white splatter on it. Stove All by Microwave. I have been trying to get this album for so freaking long. They just repressed it in the summer, I want to say. Boom. This is 
splatter, yellow, pink, and blue on white. And here is my favorite album of all time, probably. I know I've said that about like every album I own, but uh, this is You're Gonna Miss It All by Modern Baseball. And when I saw this pressing, I was like, it's meant, it's meant to be. It's so pretty. I used to have a clear pressing of it, and then I got this one. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm just gonna keep this one now. Here we have Best Buds by Mom Jeans. Mom Jeans is good, don't argue with me. Everyone who's saying they're crap, you're wrong. They're good, okay. <laughs> Green with a slight orange splatter in the middle of it. This is I'll Keep You In Mind From Time To Time by Moose Blood. It's a splatter orange and blue pressing on clear. Here is an amazing, amazing, amazing album. This is Feel Something by Movements. This pressing's super pretty. One side looks very different, but this is a pink and like forest green splatter. It's more pink on this side. All right, here is Nana Grizzall's Theo Zoom. This is just a black pressing, not gonna show it. This is Old Pride by Pianos Become the Teeth. It is a dirty brown with black little splatter boys in it. And here is Wait for Love by Pianos Become the Teeth. A lot of people didn't like this one. I'm not sure why. It was a good album, I really enjoyed it. It is a white pressing as well. One of my favorite albums by Pine Grove and it is Cardinal. This is just black, so I'm not gonna show you. And here is Prawn, you can just leave it all. It is orange orange with like dark orange splatters in it. Okay, so here I have a few from Real Friends. This is the home inside my head. It's got this for free in a vinyl box. It is smoky black pressing. This is Put Yourself Back Together by Real Friends. It is a rusty brown pressing with some uh, splatter in it. This is Everyone That Dragged You Here by Real Friends. Pretty sure I touched this entire pressing as well, but uh, it's half pink and half red. And this is Maybe This Place Is The Same or We're Just Changing. And We're Just Changing by Real Friends. I had a Real Friends phase, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. But this pressing, honestly, one of my favorites because of the color. It's a nice yellow. And this is Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. I was looking for this album for so long and I found someone who was selling it on Facebook for a very cheap price. It's 180 gram and it is a tricolor pressing. It's green, blue, and gray. Here's another Remo Drive album. I wasn't a huge fan of this album. It was a little dry for me. It's just black, so I'm not gonna show you. And these next two are by Ride. This is not a safe place. And this is Going Blank Again. I got both of these in a vinyl box as well. They're both black, both double LP, both 180 gram. So there's some hefty, hefty boys. This is Hiding Games by Safe To Say. This album is so good. Super cool pressing. It is splatter purple and yellow. The sides more purple. And here is Scott Pilgrim's soundtrack. I love this movie. It's so good. It's red, translucent red. And this is a local Milwaukee band. They're called Snag. This is their self-titled. It's so good. It's just black, so I'm not gonna show you. But go check out Snag if you like scrams and singing about the environment. This is Clean by Soccer Mommy. This is just black. And here is Temple of Plenty by Somos. Yellow blob boy in the middle with green and some orange on it. Very neato. Here we have Sorority Noises, Forgettable. I love this album, you have no idea. It's a splatter pink. I don't care if I'm in my pop punk phase or if I'm not, that album will still be top tier for me. Here we have You're Not As Blank As You Think by Sorority Noise as well. It's just a little, little white pressing. And here's Nearsighted by Speak Low If You Speak Love. This album, the whole aesthetic of it is very, Cool. It's a nice baby pink pressing. Here we have Sufjan, baby, Carrie and Lowell. This album is so good. It's just black. Sufjan, love that man. Makes me cry. Here we have DC Snuff Film and Waste Yourself. I manhandled this vinyl. It makes me so sad. I wonder if it still even plays. Oh my God. I don't know if those are my finger marks. This apparently is like a translucent pressing. It looks funky in the sun, but it looks black on camera. And here we have There There There's self-titled. It's a translucent red. This is Pleasant Living by Tiny Moving Parts. One of their best albums in my opinion. I wanna say this is just black. It's a very cool forest green pressing. And here we have Celebrate by Tiny Moving Parts. This is black with like the colors of the album splattered on it. It's like orange, yellow, a little bit of green. And here is one of my favorite Tiny Moving Parts albums I own. This is Swell. This is the tour pressing that everyone wanted, but they sold too many at like a couple shows and they were all gone. And it's signed by the band. 
It's half white, half turquoise with some pink splatter in it. Here's Flower Boy by Tyler the Creator. This is just black. Double LP. Here is Igor by Tyler the Creator. It's a seafoam green. All right, we're getting out of the home stretch. Almost done. Here is Stage Four by Touche Amore. Phenomenal band. Love them. Adore them. This is a white pressing. This is Touche's 10 Years A Thousand Shows. It is just black, kind of upset about it. Here's To The Beat Of A Dead Horse by Touche. I wanna say this is the record store exclusive, but I don't think it is. It's a nice pink lavender pressing. Here's Magnolia by Turnover. It's baby pink. Here is Peripheral Vision by Turnover. This album is iconic. So, 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 so good. I have the Baby Blue Pressing. This is Good Nature by Turnover. This looks just like that Touche Pressing. It's pink, a nice pink. This is All Together by Turnover. Heard the first song or the first single off this album. Like, you know, it's gonna be kind of good. And then after that, I was like, you know, it's not my favorite, but it's signed. It's the indie exclusive. Yellow and gray splatter. Here is The World is a Beautiful Place and I'm No Longer Afraid to Die. This is Harmlessness. This is just black. It's Double LP. Great album. Love this band. This is American Weekend by Waxahachie. Just black. Again, nice album. Got this a very long time ago. This one, I'm not a huge fan of anymore either, but this is Wicca Phase, Springs Eternals, Secret Boy. The pressing's really cool though. Ooh, type thing. I don't know. It's white and pink things on it. And here is Wild Pink's self-titled. My friend just recently got this for me. All Through a Life by Rights of Spring just black. This is the casket lottery. I have no idea who it is, but I got it as an extra little gift. It's just black. Here we have sports and meet me in Montauk. This is just black, but still really cool. This is basement's further sky. I honestly thought this was gonna pop off, but it didn't, sadly. And it's just a nice little red pressing. And here is Dowsing and Parker's split. I like the back. It's a little kitty. This pressing's brown. Super cool. And this is Everyone Leaves in Hot Mulligan's Split. It is a deep forest green. This is Touche More and Pinos Become the Tease Split. This little thing is really cool. I like the layout of it. It's just like a nice fold type dealio. And it's just a baby pink pressing. This is Citizen and Turnover Split. Uh, this pressing's pretty cool. It's half red and half cream. And this is Oranges by American Pleasure Club or Teen Suicide. It's pink and yellow, yellow and pink, cool. And this is It Kindly Stopped For Me by Sorority Noise. Just a nice little white pressing. That's it, we're all done. That's it. Oh, that's my entire vinyl collection. If you guys stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.